Siemens has simplified safety with reliable fire and smoke damper actuators that use an innovative electronic fusible link and meet UL safety standards to keep people and property protected. The electronic fusible link has a quick connect plug for a reliable connection that's easy to install for improved protection. Other actuator brands are larger and require a separate fusible link that may need additional wiring or a junction box to be properly configured to code. Now let's walk through the installation. You'll need to use the following tools shown here. To start, determine the rotation direction of the damper to orient the actuator for clockwise or counterclockwise operation. Make sure the damper shaft length is at least 3 inches and that the shaft diameter is compatible with the actuator. Now determine the orientation of the actuator based on the rotation of spring return to fail open or fail close. If the actuator is not in the desired rotation, remove the locking clip and shaft adapter and reassemble on the other side of the actuator. Mark the shaft center line for a visual indication of the position either open or closed. Place the actuator on the shaft and tighten by hand to the specified torque. The self-centering jaws provide a secure no-slip connection and eliminate side loading. Next, insert the anti-rotation bracket and orient to the damper as necessary. Keep the bracket to the center of the slot at the bottom of the actuator. Drill a hole at each end of the bracket and secure with self-tapping screws. If the electronic fusible link will be used, prepare the center conduit adapter on the actuator. Loosen the center screw to remove the EFL plug. Make a 1 3 8 inch diameter hole in the duct wall or damper sleeve. The sensor will protrude into the duct or damper for proper temperature sensing. Fix in place and complete the electrical connection. For other configurations, view the installation instructions for more details. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.